Hey guys, most of you may have ran into a few problems when trying to download anything from the EMU for iOS website. My past two videos have been tutorials on how to download and play emulators on the multi-app used by the Apple developers. As many of you may have noticed, this website has been shut down for all downloads. A few days ago, Apple had notified Surge, the founder of Mac Build Servers, that he was violating Apple's agreements by distributing these applications to non-developer users. What does this mean? Well, Mac Build Servers has had to shut down the public use of its program and are currently working on a way around this. So, for those of you that want to continue to test out these applications, have three options. The first option is to enroll in the Apple Developer Program. The only catch is, it costs a whopping $99 per year. Option two would be to take the risk and jailbreak your iOS device. This will allow you to play any other emulator, try out iOS 7, and pretty much open up your device to whatever you can think of. And last but not least, option three. This is the easy fix that was brought to my attention from a comment by one of my subscribers. Basically, all we're going to do is trick our iOS device into thinking the website is not yet shut down. To do so, head on over to your iPhone, and from here we are going to access our settings menu. From here, select the General tab, and then scroll on down until you see Date and Time. Now, all we need to do is turn off the Automatic Time Adjustment and manually select Time and Date. So basically what we are going to do is go back in time before this was taken offline. Next, all you need to do is make the date anything before the 16th of July. Now you can continue to download and play your emulators on your iOS device. And once you have the emulator and ROM you wish to play downloaded, you can go ahead and set your time back to normal. So for now, do we play the waiting game, pay the $99 a month to become a developer, jailbreak your device, or will most of us go down the easy road and accept the wrong time and date for about an hour while you download your game? Comment what you guys think in the comment section below, and if you would like to read more about Mac Build Server's situation, I will post a link to their blog in the description. Make sure you guys subscribe for more updates, and once again, thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys next time.